Isabella. They say that love is a force that brings people together. But when Isabella and I first met, we got into a heated debate about whether love was real or not. I was the skeptic armed with facts, while Isabella passionately defended the magic and power of love. She definitely thought this was a genuine argument among strangers, but to this day I stand my ground that I only made up this argument as an excuse for us to continue to talk. I guess this was my way of flirting as a 20 year old. But, but I vividly remember after meeting Isabella all that time ago thinking, I've got a shot here. Never forget the exquisite masterpiece that Isabella is wearing. Lovingly crafted by your hands is nothing short of always inspiring. Pat, your unwavering supporting guidance has been our anchor throughout the often stressful process of wedding planning. Your ability to navigate through the stress and drama with a calm and collected demeanor has been nothing short of remarkable, and we are immensely grateful. To my son Yanni, I close my eyes for but one moment, and suddenly you're a man. Stood there where a boy used to be. I may not be able to carry you in my arms, but I'm always going to carry you in my heart. You have given me so many reasons to be proud of you and proud of the man that you have become. Throughout high school, Yanni and I had quite the dynamic. We bonded over talking smack and conquering video game quests. <laughs> While my gaming days have taken a back seat, Yanni still reigns supreme in the gaming realm. <laughs> our journey continued through university where our academic endeavors took us down several paths. We dipped our toes into business, accounting, and even IT. While I stayed the course in IT, Yanni's journey took a different route, yet his ambition remained constant. Isabella, um, what can I say? You've um, you've just been a special part of the family. A third child, so there's no second or last child syndrome. Third child, um, your smile brightens up the room. Uh, you know, you've got a heart of gold, you're probably sometimes too much of a heart of gold, so sometimes you should start thinking of yourself, put yourself first, especially now that you're married. Also, Isabella's grandfather, which is in a nursing home at the moment, so he's not the best at the moment and couldn't make it with us tonight, but... Uh, they put love is in our hearts for them. 
I don't know. Hey, it's okay. I oh, know you're a bit tired, mate. Oh. I know. Oh. I know. It's okay. You have a moment. Oh. I know there's a lot of people around. It's all right. Good night. Good night. So happiness has to have a kind of a time frame on it as well. It has to be forever. Oh, don't cry. Don't, do that. don't cry. Don't cry. Stop crying. Don't stop crying. Don't stop crying. Not just today, tomorrow, next year, ten years, but as far as the eye can see, like a horizon that we never can reach, though we can see it. So it is never exhausted. So our capacity to love should always be increasing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And so we gather in great joy today to celebrate this marriage between Yanni and Isabella. And, uh, welcome both sides of the family and all various friends and connections and for whatever reason we come to be here let us join together in prayer I wanted to start the night by saying a massive thank you to everyone for coming today and to everyone who has contributed to this wedding in one way or another, to all of you amazing people in the room, our closest friends and family, words aren't enough to express our gratitude. You're all here because you mean the world to us and have contributed into moulding us into the people we are today. You're just looking bright. been there from the very beginning and have supported Isabella through some of the best and worst times life has to offer. Thank you for making this time to remember. Get up and move. To Marcella, what a privilege it is not to only gain you as my new sister, but also Jessica and Gabriella. I want to acknowledge the massive role you've played in Isabella's life, especially in the last six months. Your delegation and organisation skills are second to none. Make memories with you. We get another day to make a brand new way. Let's move ahead now, baby. Got a chance to make a change. Get that feeling. Get the move. Get that feeling. Get up and move now. Get that feeling. Get up and move. Get that feeling. Now to my parents. Thank you for being a constant in my life, for always being supportive and understanding on the decisions life has thrown our way. I remember bringing Isabella over to dinner for the first time and she was the first girl I've introduced to my parents in a semi-formal way. All I could think about after it was over is that I don't want to do this again, so I didn't. Because I knew then and there I wouldn't have to, she was it.
thank you goes out to my brother Christopher for sharing the responsibilities of organising this wedding and having you stand beside as my groomsman has made me a happy older brother. So let's raise our glasses to love, to new beginnings, and to the wonderful journey that lies ahead. Here's to a lifetime of happiness, love, and countless beautiful memories. Cheers. Thank you so much.